let's talk about my favorite bath and body products for 2019. I actually don't have a shower gel for two reasons. First of all, I love Milton Brown. I also love the Penhaligons one that I got in my Fordham and Mason Advent calendar. However, I'm making a concerted effort to move away from shower gels and body washes towards bar soaps because they're more environment friendly. So I don't actually have favorite shower gels yet. So let's start with body lotion. This is the Asano Rose Hip Oil Repairing Body Lotion. It is a New Zealand brand and this was actually gifted to me by my cousin when she came visiting. If she's watching this video, thank you so much for giving me this uh, when you came and uh, it, it's absolutely wonderful. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a body moisturizer. Uh, it's very lightweight at the same time it does a very good job hydrating when i started using it my skin was rather in a dry place you know so i thought this isn't enough hydration i'm going to have to go back to the boom boom cream or something like that but you know it was hydrating enough i really really like this and within a week my skin was back to normal and it was very, very reptilian, mind you, when I started using it. So it contains shea butter and lactic acid, uh, aloe vera, of course, and a few other things, sunflower seed oil, vitamin E, jojoba seed oil, rosehip seed oil, lanolin, bentonite clay. I don't know why, how, you know, you'd put clay. I thought clay was more for drying and oil absorption. Anyway, it, it works, actually. And uh, although it says... The fragrance is that of jasmine and fig. I hate jasmine. I hate jasmine so much. Jasmine fragrance ought to die. I mean, if I smell jasmine, I get a headache on the spot. So uh, despite this, the jasmine, I mean, I couldn't actually smell any jasmine there. It's more fig than jasmine, actually. Before my cousin gave me this, I hadn't heard of this brand, Asano, at all. Apparently, they promised that the products will never contain parabens, sulfates, silicons, phthalates, ethoxis, ethoxylates, PEGs, PPGs, mineral oils, GMO, or animal testing. It is made in New Zealand and it is cruelty free. So I'm a huge fan. Um, I don't know if I will be able to repurchase once I run out because I haven't. I don't. I haven't searched online where it is available outside of New Zealand or Australia. If I can find it online, I will link that in the description box below. If not, I am going to have to ask my cousin to visit very often and bring me this as a present. Right. The next thing is a body scrub that I actually bought in my cult beauty goodie bag. I think it was sometime in the summer or maybe spring. Can't remember honestly. But, you know, the product is so good that uh, I will definitely be repurchasing it. It is the Frank Body Cocoa Coffee Scrub. It smells just like coffee. Really, really like coffee, believe me. Uh, I am not a fan of coffee. I'm a tea person. I don't like coffee. So I know, I know, sacrilege to a lot of you, but I'm more of a tea person. I also like my hot chocolate. But uh, this one, so, so good. The smell kicks you awake in the mornings and uh, surprisingly enough calms you down in the evening if that's when you're using it and the scrub works wonderfully the only thing is there's what looks like a whole cup of coffee around your drain once you're done with your shower i mean you don't find the granules from the scrub you actually find the water that is actually the color of coffee around your drain i mean it does go away when you pour water obviously on the area but it's there. So this thing is like the previous product I showed you. Vegan, made in Australia. All these Australian and New Zealand brands are so, so, so good. I have to visit the area and, you know, buy a lot of skincare and makeup one day. Uh, however, it contains nuts and the bag is waterproof. You can keep it in your shower as I've been doing. It contains coffee seed powder, robusta coffee seed powder, uh, almond oil, walnut shell powder, cocoa powder, soybean oil, cocoa extract, and macadamia oil. Wonderful product. Really like it. Highly recommend it if you're looking for a good scrub. Uh, that I mean, it's inside, unlike the typical scrub, what you get is just the powder. It's just the powder that you get. It isn't one of those creamy, pre-mixed scrubs. So you take a bit of, you know, take a scoop of the coffee out 
at which you end up getting between your nails and then you scrub 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 and scrub and you know all the reptilian fish scales are gone and uh, you know the smell is great the feel is great your skin is great and there's a ring of coffee around your drink next we come to hand cream brazilian touch hand cream from sol de janeiro came in my selfridges beauty collection for her the smell is so darn good i sleep better with this one honestly i sleep better with this hand cream and it's done a really good job and if you're a fan of the boom boom cream it smells just like it i do recommend it the next product is new to me and it is something that's that I made a regular ritual of. It is the Mio dry brush. I can't stop dry brushing now that I've started doing it. I love dry brushing. I'm very new to dry brushing. I only started this year. Very, I mean, I thought, you know, my, that the bristles would be too rough and, you know, my skin wouldn't like it. My skin took to it like a duck to water. The dry brush, that is my huge discovery for 2019. And, you know, I'll link a few choices in the description box below. Right. Now, because I am including hair care along with bath and body, Olaplex, the number three, obviously, which is all right. I mean, it's, there are two that I like more than number three. This is number six and this is number seven. So for me, these two are nicer than number three. They require less hassle. You don't have to, you know, dampen your hair and apply the lot and, you know, weight or anything just shampoo and condition or you know curl wash or whatever this one alone two or three drops like a serum uh, on damp hair uh, either leave to air dry or heat style i don't heat style my hair anymore this is also a heat protector up to 450 degree f and this one has made my hair the softest that it has ever been and I've used it six times so far. And as you can see, I haven't even put a dent in it. You only need that much. Not only does it make your hair very, very soft, it also keeps frizz under more control than other products. That's all I'm saying, because my hair is the last word in frizzy. Uh, it also does something else. It holds my hair detangled. I mean, once you detangle your hair, sometimes, you know, in the case of a lot of us, the hair gets tangled up again it, with this one it doesn't tangle up again even if i'm leaving my hair open even if i'm playing with it that's a lot to ask for so seven absolutely love it number six is a little trickier if you go a little overboard it does weigh down your hair and make it greasy now this is more of a styling and finishing product and this is more of a treatment and repairing product I know this one is also supposed to treat and, you know, re repair those bonds, those broken bonds, just like the whole Olaplex range does. However, I feel that this one is more repair than style, while this one, because of the heat protection and because of the frizz control, is more style and finishing. Also, it dries my hair 10 times faster than as usual. My hair takes ages to dry. If I wash it at, say, 7 p.m., it dries by about... 11 p.m. or maybe midnight if I'm air drying it. With this one, it dries by around 9 p.m. That's wonderful. This is more of a conditioning cream, a leave-in conditioner, you know, that you leave in and it conditions. What it does is it hydrates your hair and keeps it moist. And with this one, my ends, my length and ends don't feel dry at all, even after four days of no washing, no other treatment, nothing else done. With this one, I do notice uh, dry ends, as usual, about two days after washing. Uh, however, I feel, I feel that this one controls for slightly better than this. Uh, I have to be a bit more heavy handed with this one to control frizz than with this one. And then that makes, you know, some parts a bit greasy. So of the two, I think if you must buy only one, I prefer this. I think it depends on the texture of your hair. If your hair is on the finer side or, you know, on the softer or the less curly side, this is good. If your hair is very, very dry, if your hair is kinky and curly, I think this one will serve you better. The next one is also a hair product. It is actually a scrunchie or some scrunchies, the Slip Silk Scrunchies 
came in again the Selfridges uh, beauty collection oh, I can't get to the collection at all it's introduced me to so many goodies some of you told me when I talked about the space and cabinet calendar that the slip sill scrunchies were amazing because I'd said who sends scrunchies in an advent calendar man uh, I thought all right what are these people saying but you know when I tried these for myself I realized that there was a massive difference between regular scrunchies and these and I'll never 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 use another hat believe me it's always going to be these frizz control check uh, I mean I plait my hair in the night and sometimes I mean most scrunchies leave kinks in my hair cause breakage worse than frizz these nothing to any of this one more hair product I promise this is the last hair product this is from Etude House these are hair secret dry shampoo sheets Right, you know that there are those blotting papers that you use to dab at oil. These are the same thing for your hair. So if your hair gets, you know, greasy around the roots, as mine does, uh, this is amazing. And I actually like it better than dry shampoo right now. And, you know, it does a very good job. And this is also great for touch-ups. I mean, if you're traveling or something, or, you know, if you have these in your handbag, you hair's got you know greasy or oily over the day or if you've sweated profusely and your uh, roots are a bit greasy get out one of these dab 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 your hair's as fresh as ever lovely stuff always always will be conscious the last product no not a hair product is actually a lip product uh, I liked it so much that I actually bought three more and this will feature in my January empties as well it is the Clarins instant light lip comfort oil I know not a very recent product it's more of a, I mean it's a 2017 release I think but you know I'm trying it for the first time so I thought uh, might as well include it in my 2019 favorites and make it eight products instead of seven yes I know we're counting all the oil applexes as one product so this is in tangerine um, lip balms stopped working for me once the weather turned dry and my lips have been peely and flaky so this one came to my rescue one lot overnight keeps me all right until the morning no flaky lips decent lips to apply lipstick even matte lipstick wonderful will always be conscious but you know i may explore other brands because you know they may be cheaper I'll be exploring Korean brands for lip oils and let you know how it goes. Honorable mention to the Therapy Protect Bath and Body Oil. If you're feeling that a cold is coming on, just sniff for this a bit. The smell is great and, you know, I think it holds colds at bay. I don't know. I, I feel better. You know, you're supposed to add a capful of this to uh, warm water and then soak in it for 15 minutes. I, you know, don't use it that way. I, I've taken direct with so far. I also think this would be great for steam inhalation if you add a drop or two and then do steam inhalation. That would be great for colds. So that's my honorary mention. So we have eight products counting all the oil applexes as one and one uh, honorable mention. Those are my favorite bath and body products for 2019. What are yours? I would love to know which is your favorite charger or body product, your body moisturizer, hand cream, foot cream, whatever it is, hair care product. Do tell me in the comments below. I would love to know. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do hit the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell and I'll speak to you soon.